two weeks later, a little Jensen bursts out of my chest. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how he keeps multiplying. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how to's, and most importantly, whatever the hell else, we come up with a Vin Stone here to hold the actual. That is Jordan Svang up in Torontosville and down there. It's one Pedro Mateus. And together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, help against four Cocaine Voltron. Before we get started, we like to see two canes, maximum two canage, canes. canes in stereo. Bicane. Bicane. Bi- bifric- it's my cane and my cocaine. I like bifurcane. <laughs> bicane or dicane? What do you think? It's forming the quad cane. <laughs> that's the quad. No, that's the quad cane laser, squared. man. squared. <laughs> cane cubed. All right. So we like to see what's going on. What we've been up to. Unfortunately, we did the um, cardinal sin of like speaking to each other at some point between shows. So we're like, man, we're out of stuff to talk about. Um, yeah, we, we we spent like an extra fucking 45 minutes on yeah. Friday just shooting the shit. We, we were this, just this is what covering movies and like we, we go places. We do things. Yeah. Uh, if you tuned in yesterday, we did, uh, did another episode of Trine again. That'll be up for patrons whenever the fuck uh, YouTube finishes eventually. processing it. Right. Um, but. What I've been playing around with, I, I think I mentioned it last week. I got that Motu A28MK3. I am still discovering all the weird bullshit that's inside of it. But that's something I like to do. I can't take something for a week and go, hey, look, I plugged it in. Here's my review of how it works on Linux. Because it's not going to do the crazy bullshit in just one week. So it keeps giving me all these little presents and things I'll learn. If you have Spitif plugged into it. For an optical, not even optical, just regular spit if plugged in, then you have like a word clock, which I do to sync it with the DAW server. If it sees that spit at first, it reconfig it tries to be clever. Don't you hate it when electronics try to be clever? You understand it. You have like apathy. <laughs> like, oh, okay, I see what you're trying to do. You fucked everything up by doing that. But I I mean I guess the logic it- behind of it. And it's probably some edge case of like, no, normal people don't think of doing this. So we're just going to do it for them in this way or whatever. It, it's like, okay, well, I'll reconfigure everything because that, that Pedro Mateus is why I spent 30 minutes fighting it Wednesday. <laughs> oh, that was okay. That's what it was. <laughs> That's what it was. I thought it was an electrical gremlin because, you know, it's like 10 years old and it's got like an FPGA and I'm like, there's a lot of shit in there to go wrong. But nay. Yeah. That's pretty much me. Uh, Jordan, you got hurt legs, but you've been lifting things and uh, laundry's done. Yeah. Yeah, laundry laundry is done. I've been do I've been reading a lot uh, lately on like uh, two things, serverless architectures and operating machine learning algorithms at scale. Because these are these are two infrastructural weak points I have uh, and I'm learning like reading up on it. Personally so. around the house or Yeah. Just um, I, I guess I, I, uh, I got a textbook. Is, uh, technically looking for a new job, so there's that. <laughs> fun, yeah, fun, fun employment. It, it, you know, it's just stuff to keep the brain active. And you know what? I, I've I understand in principle a lot about serverless architectures, but it's been interesting to sort of dive into it. And also, like, I don't know what it takes to operate like AI at scale, and now I am. So Pi now torch. I can maybe apply. Yeah, may, maybe maybe I can apply for that Nvidia job now. That, that, that's it. This is you. You've, <laughs> you've just blown it, man. It's like this is all for just finally being able to video, video code. You, you, everyone's seen the post of like, yeah, the new guy we hired. He came in, nice guy, and he said something about fixing a bug because he was a user at yeah. one point. Then he submitted his two week. Yeah, fix, yeah. fix it, and then <laughs> quit. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's how that's how you do it. <laughs> Commitment. <laughs> Turns like so. I get my signing bonus. Sorry, right, 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 the card. All right, two weeks. All right. Yep. It's what, Jensen? See it. Oh no! Blow the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> right. Then you start walking out. You just get clipped at the door with. The yes, jacket. it's it's like the fucking face hugger from <laughs> oh, Alien. Yeah. Just like <laughs> just takes you gone. Never see it again, man. Two, 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 two weeks later, a little Jensen bursts out of my chest. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, that's how he keeps multiplying. Oh okay. no, no, no! We get into the horror movie, right, man? You like you're in the shower and you see like brown leather. You're like, what? what? It starts yeah. patching oh, on yeah. your skin. And it grows. Oh up. yeah, it's 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 like Jack Nicholson and Wolf. Yeah, yeah. like slowly turn into Jensen. <laughs> oh, Top man. that, Pedro. 
I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Literally, oh, uh, the only thing that me, I've me. been doing outside of work this week is playing a little bit of Dark Souls 2 and uh, playing around with new old laptop. It's got a big old smudge there because it is not a new laptop by any means or measures. It is a Dell uh, Inspiron Duo 1090, which came out in like late 2010, uh, early 2011. And it's got the gimmick, the big gimmick, which is the flippy screen, <laughs> which then you can I have a tablet. Does it flip infinitely? Can you just go like, wee? No. <laughs> I guess the cable's oh. going to come in somewhere. <laughs> you know what? If you, do it, if you do it hard enough, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how you lose the screen. <laughs> that oh, It's already that. a broken laptop. What's this going to be? More broken? Okay, right. The well, screen isn't broken. That's the thing. The screen is actually like the best bit about yes. it. The keyboard's broken. Yes. The, first thing I'm thinking broken. About, the first thing I'm thinking about is, do, does it have a lock? So it like locks in place on both turns. Yeah, it's magnets. Mm. How does that work? No, two events. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> you know, you know what? I I, th I think magnets are involved some way in like how the horse operates. I don't know. Maybe we should ask Jesus. But I have a suspicion he would just say it's the steam. Linux. I don't Yay, know either. It's the next fest, and I'm going to say exactly what I said last year. Let me sort by fuck mothering operating systems, Valve, because <laughs> goddamn, I don't want to go through all of this and like maybe this would work on Linux. I mean, yes, okay, some things have, but you got to sort through all the stuff. This one is only maybe it works with Proton, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Did you see anything they that was terribly really interesting? I guess like one of the things we got to talk about though is uh, last week. Valve was going to have an announcement at the PC Gaming Expo. This the announcement was for the announcement for this. But we all and we 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 all sat through that entire like forty five minute long presentation. Cringe worthy like, forty five minutes. <laughs> is, it, is, is it gonna be anything? <laughs> Come no. on, Pedro. You don't want your announcers like pretending to fly a spaceship while they're talking about the. I, 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 I the, the thing I liked more was like, oh yeah, you're getting cut short for Gabe Newell, and they proceed to like uh, let him like fucking swear as a bit for like thirty seconds. Of, like, I used to follow David Oshry on Twitter. It, it's like, yeah, no, that presentation or presentation was very much on par with uh, his persona that he puts out on social media, but. Come on, hey man, hey man. <laughs> yeah, give, give it, give us a pity fuck. Give a, give, even a, even a teaser would have been better than nothing. But they threw it down like right at the, you know, gave in. He walked out. It's like next fast. Then something at the end where he was like, some of those look pretty fucking good. Yeah, fuck, yeah, something like that. <laughs> that was it. What? Well, I yeah, that that. To be fair, there were a couple of those games in the PC gaming showcase that I went, ooh, I kind of want to try that out. And I think that I mean in that point mission accomplished, right? Like it's it's a glorified commercial for PC games coming out. So well, think about it. If, it, if it gets you thinking about it, it did a job. Is uh, Skateburb out yet? No. Uh, is August. Out? That was the one August. last year. I'm like, okay, that that would be kind of fun. And it was a <laughs> Steam Next Fest, and uh, okay, we're still waiting on that. But yeah, I, I don't I don't want to drop eighty dollars on Tony Hawk Pro Skater Two for the Switch. No, I, no. <laughs> Pro Skater Two that came that came out the, in like two thousand two two thousand three. It's the HD remake that has one and two. It's also in it. Nintendo. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's and it's an HD remake, so we have scaled the textures to UHD. Yeah. Now give us eight, give us eighty dollars. <laughs> the second HD remake. Oh, okay. Man. So. Uh, <laughs> Long National Nightmare is completely over. We got to cover at least one new game that came out this week on Linux, and uh, it's a sequel. Yeah, it's the sequel to the game with the best title from last year, Fucktopia. My one gripe, it's uh, <laughs> not called Fucktopia 2 Electric Boogaloo. It's just Fucktopia 2. And our four-armed radioactive hillbilly seems to um, have been eaten too many beats. I don't know. Yeah, he's got a little bit of a sunburn going on because I looked at the like the little blurb picture. It's like, that looks familiar. So I went to look at the first one. It's like, oh, he's got a bit of yeah. a tan going on. All right. Okay. I, I wonder if he's going to get like progressively bloodier and bloodier as the games go on. It's, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a beat him up, right? 
it um it's got they got the online co-op which is nice good on them for that okay this is one of the main reasons that i even brought this up and i, I put this in front of everyone because this is one to okay fucktopia 2 i really thought they were going to splurge on like a third frame of attack animation but nay they're keeping it old school too eh. no and it's early access so you do, you only get that guy for now uh the like the other characters like the eyeball and you know the other quake ripoffs <laughs> you gotta wait for those <laughs> but the reason i wanted to bring this up as Jordan said, online co-op and clearly a game that somebody built just to have some fun with, right? This, mm-hmm. this is just like... Well, it's difficult. Let's fuck around and make a game. And there it is. So, yeah. Online multiplayer. Come on. All the things. This mm-hmm. One man project can do it, right? Like, right. there's a million fucking online multiplayer solutions out there. Please just use one. Implement one. Nay. It doesn't even have to be great. It just has to... I just want to be able to play shit with my just friends. give us full soap. Listen, we're determined. We will look up config files and wine prefixes and edit them. If, even maybe, for we, games we, we, we don't we particularly have, like trying. We haven't had to set up the VPN <laughs> to do the like the, the fake local network connection. But uh, I Hamashi. imagine at one point... Yeah, we may have to do that at one point. I don't know. Well, now I know what it's going to be. Thanks. Um, <laughs> looking forward to that. Excellent. Looking forward to that. We got this dropped out of nowhere. Um, Love for Dead. It's a game we're going to be playing in the after shows. And if you want to hang around for that, uh, the main reason we're going to play it is because there's been a little bit of an update. Well, I, there's a ton of updates to, updates to this, and which is kind of interesting. Like, shouldn't this be baked by now? But no, no you know. Just little things, window known water options on Linux. I guess that's why it went into an absolute loop. Connection fit the first time you launched it with. Oh, yeah. With. This, what did I you launch SDL it with? One. What would have caused that? Well, let me tell you what would have caused that. There's a new Vulkan render back in. Yeah. You do your dash Vulkan on your command line perimeter, and you too can go, oh, we're on for a ride as your other two monitors go completely blank and it launches in full screen and jacks up your NVIDIA config, so all your color calibrations for not, along with your brightness I, settings. I guess they re- reverted it to SDL 1.2 or something, I, just to, just to fuck with people. <laughs> yeah, no, for me it was a bit more than that because uh, I had the game set to full screen and every time I launched it, it got to the main menu and then it would crash. Like, what are you doing? So I launched it in windowed mode and I saw that around the time that it usually crashed, uh, the little pop-up at the bottom to say that it was syncing the things with the Steam Workshop showed up. It's like, ah, oh, is that why? So I put it back to full screen and I subscribed to a new thing. Crash again. Okay. All right. That That's what's causing that. All right. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you got to imagine if there's like any sort of workshop stuff that's doing any OpenGL Vulcan DirectX specific stuff that, yeah, it might be a little screwy when they're throwing in the new backend edit. Possibly it could. I will say my bayonet- Bayonetic character worked fine, which I completely figured I hadn't because I never go into single player. I'm like, oh, yeah, I downloaded that. All right, look at that. Yeah. That, that, that's uh, kind of uh, neat. Stay Puff Marshall of Man as the tank still worked. I don't know. Like, I decked around it, uh, around with it for a few minutes, and it seems relatively smooth. Sometimes there's like some pretty gnarly drops. But, like, I, again, I, I was also maxing out at 300 FPS with OpenGL, so it's not like this is new experience at all. It's just Vulcan. It is a little bit interesting how they're doing it, with um, again, with the DXVK. Mm-hmm. Like, hmm, all right. Well, I mean... It was already using Toggle to translate the direct text to OpenGL, so now it's just using DXVK to translate to Vulkan. Works this, for me. <laughs> this is something Pedro would pay attention to. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Um, oh, and... It's high DPI aware. No more mice type in the menus. Mm-hmm. Kind of like Portal 2. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is something, uh, the field of view slider in multiplayer. Is that like a big thing now? Uh, it's always been a big thing, especially if you're prone to um, motion sickness. You get a little tummy ache when you play the video person. games. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, Projectile uh, vomiting. Was yeah. uh, Total Biscuit was a big proponent of the you gotta have an FOV on first-person view games because some people get quizzy if you give them a really narrow FOV, which, yeah, that is scientifically demonstrable that if you give people, like, the little iPads, not 
the top or, or even the even actual <laughs> even like Clo- Cloverfield, right? Remember that fucking movie before it mm-hmm. became a John Goodman franchise? Yeah, like people were throwing up in the theaters because of like the the very narrow camcorder view, like first person, and all the shaky stuff happening. Which in a game with like Left for Dead, you're getting smacked from all over the place, and the camera is going all wobbly. Yeah. Kind of a so problem. you two, so you can <laughs> pretend to be the boomer. So it's really a cosplay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's not the only thing that is uh, went to Vulcan. Yeah. Death Trash. Uh, you might remember it as that hipster pixel Diablo-esque post-apocalyptic game. And yeah, uh, they have a new uh, update. They put it on Twitter. Uh, they fixed some crashes, minor update to humanoid enemies. And they set the default uh, graphics API to uh, Vulcan on Linux, which should help with the stealth visuals. And I'm reminded of uh, like Flibbit posted something earlier today about like, hey, smart Unity devs, switch your shit over to Vulcan because OpenGL is getting deprecated and it'll fix all your fucking problems, (laughs) which, you know, very might very well be the case considering Unity is just like, yeah, we have an OpenGL renderer. We haven't worked on it in like six fucking years. It's there. It works. Mm hmm. So, and yeah, um, no, Death Thrash is one of those games that I've been following ever since the dev started pushing the pixel art for the game. But and I'm like, there is, oh, that looks. There weird. is a demo for the Steam uh, PC Games Fest. So, or, so if you want to check it out, you can. And I it plays very much the, like hipster pixel Fallout with Souls like combat, which I like. I like very yeah. much. <laughs> so the only thing I have an issue with, and this is, I'm guessing more of a Vin issue, but. I don't run a compositor on my desktop because I don't, I have full for, you know, forceful composition pipeline enabled in the NVIDIA driver and XFC. I mean, there's nothing that requires compositing, but this is a bug and reason to bring it up because you might run into it yourself. If you're launching a Vulcan title through unity, this is where you run into it. Not in anything in the history of ever else at all, but it will start up at like three frames a second and jump to 5,000 frames a second, then go back to like three frames a second, effectively locking up your box. Now you can hit Alt F4 and wait a few minutes and it'll get around to processing that and it'll close, but it's easier to SSH into it. So keep that in mind. I <laughs> I have to remember Hollow Knight's the same way. So I just got to launch PyCom before doing it and everything's fine. It, it's just perfect. I guess it's expecting that GLX context and it's going, uh, your everything is going through software. Where the heck do I spawn the GLX exactly? <laughs> it's a Unity Vulcan thing, but I mean, that's the guy I didn't even look. I'm like, yeah, I know the game engines, uh, Unity when I did that. I'm like, uh, okay. Easy. I mean, it's easy enough to fix, but be aware. It's not as awesome as DDNet. No, no, DD Race Net? Network, uh, which I I think I've started, but I honestly can't tell you anything about the game because I don't remember it's, it. It's, it's uh, Worms, it's Liero, it's that sort of, um, like, a bunch of people on a thing trying to murder each other, no? Yeah, but it's uh, in real time. Yeah, like uh, Liero and the new yes. version of Worms that's coming out. <laughs> you take a normal platformer <laughs> and give it feats. <laughs> And smiley faces <laughs> effectively yeah you take uh, a normal character platformer. feats get with it, guns it, and it, have it. at but yeah version 15.5 is now out uh they are limiting uh, if you're on windows uh they're limiting people with intel uh integrated graphics uh, processors to open gl2 <laughs> because that is effectively the best oh, way of dealing with that particular mess <laughs> excellent <laughs> and uh, the uh, one of the things that jumped out at me was fix X11 notifications. Now, when I think notifications, I think you know the annoying Android ones that I always dismiss. I don't think this, these are the ones that they mean because I don't want my graphical server to uh, handle game notifications unless it's the actual API notifications to tell you what it needs to be doing. That if it's that fair, but that's not very clear. <laughs> that could be a problem. Um, they were addressing a few things. Uh, I started up that one. I think I've started up twice. Uh, just look at it. It's completely free on online multiplayer. And hey, maybe it's something we can play around in the after show. It is now high DPI aware on uh, resolution list, which is good. Dealing with window mode being like all jacked up and you could drag it around and sometimes kind of get it to capture correctly. And uh, they've implemented the H- um, HLA with. Which one is it? Shaders. Da, 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 da. HLSL? Yes. Or HSL? Yes. Yes. HSL. Yes. The lo- one the of those one. is correct. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but.
but I don't know. I mean, you can be a little sunshine full of stab. Ain't no sunshine when she stabs. stabs. (laughs) (laughs) I thought it was neat and wanted to give him a little bit of a mention for that. Yeah, it's definitely one of those ones where uh, we probably wanted to test it out on the after show. And it is free to play, so uh, might do it one day. Coming up next, OpenGL on Mac. Yeah. Yeah. Via Vulcan. (laughs) (laughs) Again. And for some reason, you still think it's a good idea to give us money. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, don't think too much about it. We're just going to proceed to shill ourselves out to you for a little bit here. But come yeah, on, Pedro, what think- is your problem? We have advanced technology like pause buttons. <laughs> pa- well, you need to know where the pause button is. Otherwise, you're just going to hit stop. I don't know. I mean, we're only a couple of weeks away from uh, nine years, right? So. Yeah, <laughs> that's hor- horrifying. Well, if you if you want if you want to keep us going for another nine years, head on over to Patreon. Okay, all right, calm down. I, I need to be able to get some sleep tonight, man. I don't, I'm gonna wake up like no, uh, no, no. I got nine more years left. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, yeah, but uh, head on over to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. You get some cool stuff. Uh, if you become a Patreon, you get access to the Discord channel, which you can also get by subscribing to Twitch. Uh, a little bit more money per month or per week and uh, get access to the video version of the was it pre pre super chosen pre pre super chosen that goes live. We, we cut that. this up. If you like this nonsense, you're like, shit, this is awesome background music because we don't have any illusions that you're locked in and listening unless you're now shed real dynamic, just talking shit, which is awesome. But even then, you're, you're not listening. You're yeah, dicking around. Right. With other people. <laughs> He's fucking around with yep. us, which is brilliant. <laughs> uh, but check this out. This is like a four hour rock block. This is the gooey, nasty, sloppy middle. And there's the beginning and an end to this that we put in podcast form. And we also give you the raw video. Which is very handy if you happen to get absolutely shite hammered on stream and forget what you did. The internet remembers. Australia. (laughs) I'm not pointing uh, fingers. But yeah, uh, other cool stuff you can get by becoming a Patreon. Access to the show notes. You can make uh, suggestions. You can issue corrections. You can help shape the show as it forms throughout the week. You can even buy your way on the goddamn show. We got to thank our existing Patreon who has given us more money. That excuse me, extraction. Who is now uh, joining? I think Darkwing as our no, no longer alone little Nikki. Finally, fan. we have somebody who mm-hmm. for Chicago kicks ass. Finally, <laughs> the Blizzard brings Indeed. it straight. He comes straight with his message. Yeah, we got we got a uh, store store dot dot com. You can buy some t shirts, stickers, fanny pack, keep masks. Quit bringing up stuff I don't have loaded yet because I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, all sorts of LGC apparel and merchandise to fulfill the void in your soul that has been forming because we're living in the apocalypse. Um, so yeah, cover cover it up with a Hell Elk sticker or uh, drown your sorrows with some whiskey in your Hell Elk sticker. I still very, say very create a mask sticker. out of stickers. I, I stuck it there <laughs> and it remained stuck. The Hell Elks you. And if I try to tear it off, <laughs> why, oh, it's, it's, hell it's, hell it's, you. <laughs> it's it's good for covering up naughty words with slightly less naughty words. Indeed. Yes. Uh, we also Heck. we also got our wish zones. If you head on over to, over to LinuxGameCast.com, put your mouse over the support button and move it down slightly to that wish list. You can see the studio wish list. Mine, uh, Pedro's, Jill's. Do you want to help us build out our respective studios? You can send us little notes. We'll read them within reason. Uh, and if you send Ven some stuff, you get to be a colorful name on the wall. Is that what this shit is? I don't know. Yep. Yeah, that's right, man. We got the wall of fine upstanding cannibals hanging out back. You will be publicly shamed in each and every video that is, uh, that I'm in. It's going to be back there when you least suspect it about your horrible, horrible fiscal irresponsibility. And, uh, yeah, thanks for that. And we're not joking around. As long as, as long as it's Twitch legal, we, we will gladly have Pedro recite Lime, Remrick, Remricks, yes. Remrick? Remricks. Remricks. I don't know what that is. You need to create it and you will fucking read it. <laughs> lots and lots that, of rims. That, 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 that's, that's what happens when Rick Sanchez turns himself into like a tire. He's Remricks. Rim <laughs> uh, I'm Rem Remrick. Don't me give the car, Marty. Look at me, Marty. You, you I'm Remrick. You're going to be. <laughs> turn into a car, Marty. Put me on. You're going to be fucking irate like two years from now when that episode here is yeah. like, motherfucker. <laughs> 
<laughs> God damn! Do I? No, like they, they gave me an EP credit, so I'm fine. <laughs> Special right. thanks too. Yeah, I, oh, I, yes. I have an IMDb page now. <laughs> All right, beautiful people. Let's get into DXVK. You don't know about it. What is it? It's the thing that's made Proton as good as it is today. This was the turning point, and I think Valve realized that because they uh, very much started fu- uh, funding Deutschen. And since the XVK now also includes D3, D9, VK, uh, or D9, VK, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it is the single most important bit, you know, outside of wine, uh, <laughs> in Proton. So, yeah, version 1.9 is, uh, is out now. It's in Proton Experimental if you actually want to go play with it without having to worry about it too much. Um, it's been a while, too, because, like, yeah. the XVK is kind of, like... Hit feature completeness, or at least that's what uh, Dot, Dot was saying for a while. But yeah, now, now it's they, just yeah. about fixing the things that still don't work. And one of the things that I tried was uh, sitting in the title screen for uh, near pre tomato. Uh, and yeah, it still crashes. So you got to keep using Proton G for that. The, um, the new uh, MF bits are not there yet. The interesting uh, all, uh, another interesting bit was the software uh, well, Vulcan know, emulation they, they got the uh, 60 frames per second to work on something I don't know for uh, yeah, for the, uh, AMD the, n- near <laughs> yep. near and a couple of other games that throw a bit of a hissy fit if you're running it at more than 60 Fallout 3 uh, it's it, there's quite a few so yeah you have a frame limiter now that you can enable per game which is very nice it's actually very nice. A few of them are automatic already, like is the case. So with near and that was another one they mentioned. I don't know. I don't have anything. You took my one thing I was going to talk about. So yeah, I'm, so I'm going I'm to steal the one thing you're going to talk about. One thing that they've added in uh, the latest version of DXVK is better support for uh, software emulated Vulcan via lava pipe. Nice. They're saying that now, if you have um, if you uh, don't, if if you have a Vulcan present uh, GPU on the system, it will uh, not default to the CPU implementation. Uh, and now the CPU implementation will even work. They give Witcher three and as, as an example of a game that does. I'm genuinely curious. See, like, yeah, but is it like six forty at four eighty by four eighty on low or like I don't? <laughs> uh, shut up! You're asking the wrong questions. Here's I something. Think, here's something that's a little bit of a side. I keep track of the uh, neurotic automatic tomato, the official one. You know, the one that has been patched in four years, and they were happy to say <laughs> peace among worlds to all the PC players because that's how they roll until you know. Premier came out and I'm like, shit, everyone's a little upset with us about that. We better tell them we're going to patch it and update it to <laughs> like the one with the new Xbox, whatever the fuck all it is. There've been bunches and bunches of massive updates pushed to that repo this week. So, all right. well, I, I mean, we, we do, we do know that square and I'm is sure giving, it's for uh, DLC. We, <laughs> and we, we, we do know that square is giving uh code weavers a shit ton of money to QA their games online. So yeah, Code Weaver, oh, yeah, and uh, yeah, Code, code Weaver emulated. It is yeah, Code Weaver, yeah. Hmm. The um, oh, what's it called? Crossover people, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, mean, okay. I mean, like, I was confused because we were talking about near. Then I'm like, Code Weaver doesn't make near. <laughs> no, 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 no. But they, uh, but they're they're doing a lot of the validation stuff for uh, getting games running on uh, Proton. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With Squeenix in particular being one of the big ones. But yeah, the Vulcan mm-hmm. bits, uh, this Vulcan emulation will probably save you. And I think the use case here is, say, you have a GTX 780, old Kepler. Uh, it's old not Kepler. being actively... Su- yes. We took him out back. <laughs> <laughs> then we brought his it's, ass back uh, in because it, we couldn't buy a fucking video card. <laughs> we, we, we That's dug, what we I'm dug him up they, and they took we made it out a new back one. and killed right. the support. But right, yeah, the... <laughs> Mega it is the Vulcan emulation. Legends. The Vulcan emulation here is very much to. It's like okay, there's a new extension for Vulcan, and since you're not getting updated drivers, maybe you just emulate v- that one Vulcan extension that you need to get the game running, and you can ride that 780 for a little longer. I can I can also see some like server end <laughs> things that would benefit from having CPU accelerated Vulcan as well, uh, especially for things that don't necessarily have a GP on board that need to do like some. Vulcan related stuff. I don't know. You know, things that Vulcan do. Hey, now that we've got DXVK pretty much sorted, we need to open up an entirely new bag of nonsense. 
I mean, to be fair, it's kind of necessary nonsense. So we've been talking about Zinc. It's the OpenGL implementation on Vulkan. We were talking about DXVK earlier. Same idea. You implement all the uh, system calls uh, in uh, so that there's a library that can receive them and then just do all the backend shit in Vulkan. Uh, we know that uh, Valve has hired Mike Blumenkrantz to work on this full time. We've covered his blogs a few times now. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is the Collabora article about this. That they're the ones that are actually handling all the funding and whatnot. Um, and they're, they're talking about the progress, uh, right now it's on Mesa matrix. So if you want to see how zinc is chugging along, uh, you can, and which by the way, it is fully feature complete with OpenGL 4.6 now. So there is some hope because now <laughs> what they're saying is we're investigating the possibility of supporting higher levels of OpenGL on Mac with this using molten VK. And all I got to say is, <laughs> oh man, good luck. Don't die. Motherfucker. That's, uh, <laughs> uh OpenGL via Vulcan via Metal. That that that's I mean, pretty it's metal. Still <laughs> it's still a better love story than OpenGL drivers on Mac. So fair. Yeah, <laughs> listen, man. Somewhere there's a Glide compatibility. Shim laughing hysterically at you. <laughs> I think there already is one for there Vulcan. Is. We talked about it. Yes. <laughs> Bring back the air quotes. Uh, the one thing with this, man, you know, I, it's not looking like OpenGL's going anywhere, unfortunately. I mean, it is uh, very much legacy, and it's still going to be around for a long, long time. But, you know, OpenGL or Vulcan, they're going to hang around. So might as well reduce that target area and just get everyone hammering on Vulcan. Things like Zinc are going to allow that translation. But, okay, even with that can, older can, stuff. I I can see that being like super useful on uh, mobile too. If you have a lot of uh, old frameworks that are using OpenGL and you want to like have some better performance on mobile, having it having yeah. Vulkan handle the backend would be very good as well. Dude, are we going to see people yeah. throw, throwing this at the compositors like Katie? He's like, "Hey, oh, you thought we were stable-ish? <laughs> Check this out." And Maybe you do yeah. have a compositor running on Android though, so it's fine. Mm. <laughs> surface flinger or whatever good news ladies and gentlemen boys and girls uh something that i don't know anything about other than i know it's a thing i know it's a popular thing so i i've had the question like why isn't this running correctly and why and well it's been fixed roblox yes now works uh, on linux it was i think it was 2014 because roblox used to work just fine uh in wine but then in 2014 they released something and people we're not entirely sure what, but uh, whatever change that was, uh, they, well, it, it basically effectively made the game they launcher just not work anymore in wine. Huh? Okay. Yeah. We, the, we were um, having this discussion in the pre-pre-show <laughs> uh, about exactly just what the hell a Roblox is. Now, my take on it is um, like Gary's mod for kids, but. Apparently, it's more than this. Yeah, it, it is an entire it, game building framework, effectively. Yeah, it, <laughs> I, I would say it probably hues closer to Second Life than it does to something like Minecraft. Although there is quite a bit of overlap. Less sexy stuff because it's very much targeted at kids. Yeah, very, very, very much targeted at kids. My girlfriend's kid plays a ton of this and is always complaining that, oh, your computer sucks because you can't play Roblox. And I can be like, haha, child, I've, I've shown you. <laughs> and now I don't. And now I don't even need to patch my own version of Wine because uh, Wine TKG, which is. Easily available in Lutris, mm -hmm. by the way, uh, supports it. So hopefully there'll be a Lutris runner lickety okay. split, and uh, that'll be very easy to set up. So I can have quiet. And children. there's a couple of there's a couple of bugs still, uh, namely the mouse movement. Ven was showing the uh, the patch earlier. You can build that patch into wine to work around the mouse issue. Huh? But yeah, yeah the mouse will get me stuck. Being helpful. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the wiki page that's that'll be linked in the show notes so that's fine uh the um the yeah no the mouse movement if you toggle free mouse so you can look around without turning the character then you can't lock it back so you'll effectively get stuck uh but you can get in game and if you don't toggle the free mouse you're good to go <laughs> no, well the story if you have kids just make sure they don't discover this then they want to fuck around with your desktop again so Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. You you can give them you can give them a ten year old laptop, and this will run on that. So, mm -hmm. all right, Fine. that's that's what that's for. But uh, why we, quick? We, we, why? Because <laughs> Nvidia can't have all the fun. Then uh -huh. they can't. So Arthurin uh, gave us the suggestion, which you too can provide if you're a Patreon. But, you know, shameless plug. But Jeez, uh, why show. why Quake Two or Yagami Quake? Uh, they're a port that tries to add some modern stuff to the old Quake 2, like uh, OpenGL 3.2 renderer and SDL 2. 
uh, support. And now they have uh, Vulcan support in here as well. So you can uh, play your OG Quake 2 in a non-ray traced fashion on, on Vulcan. And, but I do wonder though, I do wonder if these guys are actually gonna be like, I wonder if we can implement ray tracing and will it work better than the NVIDIA ones? Not, I wouldn't say on, yes on NVIDIA cards. So this is why but on I AMD absolutely cards, need maybe. the well actually graphic is <laughs> the NVIDIA Quake with RTX is running Vulcan. Yes, it is. Um, it's using the proprietary this, NVIDIA Vulcan. Yeah, the, the Vulcan ray Totally tracing. not the thing that's running on the Switch, but yes. <laughs> it's not. That Switch would explode. But, but but I mean that's 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 kind of my point. Like I don't I don't foresee any ray tracing implemented here uh, performing what Nvidia does because that's all like Nvidia black magic. But on AMD, like I don't know with the default Chronos ray tracing vendor neutral stuff, will it perform better? Mm. I don't know the plus and minus of this. I mean, I guess it helps future proof the code base a little bit. Um, but I mean, it's kind of like Left 4 Dead. I mean, how many bazillion fuck all frames were you running? Uh, quick to. <laughs> 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 Do do I listen? I understand there's got to be at least one person out there who's like, finally, it's playable on something that I can even on come my up 10 year with. old laptop that I originally played Quick 2 on. That is thermally throttled because I removed the heat sink and <laughs> replaced it with the Noctua <laughs> one, but I forgot to glue it in with the thermal lotion. I, I don't know, but hey, look, look forward to that. Any other advantages? Do you think we should play some Quick 2? We played some Quick 3. Uh, I, I get way too salty with that. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pass. Uh, the Quake 2, the, does Quake 2 have a co-op mode? I, I want to say yes, but I'm not sure. I, I mean, I, by now, yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> in, in, in 2021, yes, Quake has a co-op mode. I mean, in 1990, whatever, probably not, but. Doom has co-op now, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We live in the future. Yes. <laughs> little bit. Little bit. So, last time you looked at that plumber, that Italian plumber that liked to uh, fuck around on pipes, man, you're like, man, Mario, wouldn't it be nice if you were all 16 by 9, but Mario, Mario's worried about his figure, man. So Mario's like, I don't, I don't want to be Mario with, like, three C's, because it wouldn't make my name Mario anymore. But that is Kari- like, K- K- stretched out, man. And that's maybe what you've run into, unless you get, like, the hard bars on you know just four by three as opposed to 16 by nine you wanted to experience super mario world and all its snask goodness but with a 16 by nine aspect ratio well vita vila let's get you covered super mario world snes widescreen project it's out it's something i mean this just got updated and it launched 14 days ago a lot of updates have been done to this but now you can get your mario with super widescreen Goodness, this is going to increase the, uh, you know, the original horizontal resolution was like 96 pixels. This is increasing it from 256, 244 to 352, 244. <gasps> it's neat. You do need, uh, you need the business underscore HD. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I like it, man. I think this is really neat. Jordan's like, no, man, it doesn't fit with the original artistic vision of Mario. Therefore, yeah, it should I, never I, be I, used. I, Absolutely, that's a hundred percent what I said. Hundred yes. percent. If you use this, you are going to hell. God hates you. No, I mean, like, yeah, it's a little cheaty gameplay wise because a lot of the levels are designed with that uh, frame limited frame in mind, so that uh, enemies will surprise you and whatnot. But it's still pretty neat, though. Um, especially like with the with the beast nest uh, HD stuff, it's all super bespoke too. Like the technical challenge of implementing this is crazy, um, because like. The game isn't designed to run like this, and you have to, like, insert your own map shit and update it. It's it's nuts. So if you really, really, really hate letterboxing and you really love retro games, this is for you. I don't know. What happens a when lot you of try to launch this on a 4x3 on uh, <laughs> monitor? Does it, you, do you get, like, the legitimate letterbox? Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> it, it just keeps going down. I need BeastNest HD on 4x3 and HD yeah, on 4x3 and HD. Yeah, put that on be like, all right. I, I want to reduce. I want so twenty one nine resolution like in the four by three screen. On on my on my fifty inch four by three screen. Yeah. I think it's so. It just boils down to touch on what Jordan is. is the technical just bullshittery nonsense. Uh, Scandinavian witchcraft behind this to sit down and go. Okay, and I'm going to make this work, and it's going to be playable. Mm-hmm. It's impressive. 
it had my especially attention. when you don't have source code you're just doing it via yeah, like right. as- assembly Disassembling. like does this work no nope. does this work no does this work no <laughs> and you know and I'll be working within the constraints of the emulator too mm-hmm. so yep, sure. there is also that who remembers luna my dog yeah I need to walk around. Uh, honestly, I forgot that was a thing until I saw this in the show. Notes. I did too. But Amazon would very much like you to remember that they did a thing. And that thing uh, will be available open to Luna Cloud gamers, uh, Prime members between June 21st and 22nd. Like, this is some limited bullshit. The Luna controller will be 30% off, too. We're always uh, kind of keeping an eye on you know, streaming, be it Stadia. This is the other option. There's the NVIDIA thing. But, Jordan, you were interested in the controller for some reason. Yeah, because it looks exactly like a Switch Pro controller. I want to see, like, I, I, I want to, like, scratch on the edges of it, see if I can take the sticker off and, like, underneath it is actually a Switch Pro controller. Um, just as Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, th- th- that's that's where all the real ones are going. The fake ones are getting shipped out by Amazon normally. No, but um, honestly, like a lot of Amazon storefronts, they're like, I don't know, I don't know. Because there, there, there clearly is a technical demand for game streaming. I don't think the act, the like network infrastructure is there yet. But my well, concern is like it's going to be a generation of kids. This will happen. That will look at you yes. sideways for wanting to download a game. Why would you for do wanting, that? Yeah, local you just storage. Play it right. Yeah, you you stream your game. Um, and like when when I when I look at stuff like uh, WebGL and whatnot, that's that's sort of where my brain goes with that. Uh, but. By the way, uh, have you? I, what they they listed a couple games for this, like Resident Evil Seven and a few others. But what I think is genuinely going to happen with the Amazon Luna platform is: Have you seen what Prime Video looks like when you take away all the Prime original content? That is some like bottom of the barrel scraping, or like looking at the Fire Store if you're trying to like buy something <laughs> on a Kindle tablet. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's <laughs> some. Th- I I fear that this is what Amazon Luna is gonna be, just like. What, whatever they could get, whatever they could pay anyone to get the rights for, and that's it. Yeah, that's the thing. It, five ninety nine, the five ninety nine a month that they list in the article here. That doesn't sound bad. It's like pay that on top of your prime already, okay? But if they can get the games to justify it, because for five ninety nine right now you get Resident Evil Seven, Control, Tacoma, Res Infinite, and Metro Exodus. Yeah, the, the at least two of three of those I recognize. Uh, so we need we need more. And you got to keep in mind, I mean, it, it you're going to be able to reduce your experience to minimum suckage if you have a 10 megabit internet connection. Don't I mean, Wi-Fi probably shouldn't be thrown into this mix, but it will be. and Or 35 megabits for the UHD. But I was invited to the closed beta of this months and months and months ago. I was excited. I got that email and they say, hey, Vin, would you like to... Um, Play around with play again. Like, fuck it. Because, you know, all the years back, you know, a year before, hell, more than a year before Stadia came out, we were fucking around in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm like, okay, I have experience doing this. So I signed up. I went through the bullshit. I'm like, okay, what do I got to download? Are you, what are you going to send me a control? Like, hey, yeah, we're doing this closed beta. Fuck you, pay us. <laughs> And that's where that that's the beginning, middle, and end of yeah, my Luna yeah, experience. I'm like, you're not Google, Amazon. I'm not no. paying you to beta test your shit. And you're also dealing. No, I don't with care who you are. Google's I'm getting not. developers to <laughs> go to their platform is by writing checks, large or by, checks, or by paying someone to go to their company and do the port for them. Yes, the yeah. the Nvidia strat. So like, yep. yeah, it's. I, I don't know. I, I want to see what this conversation looks like in five years, because mm-hmm. right now it's not there. But like technology is rapidly progressing as as these streaming services like come up and die. We're going to eventually like default into the formula that will work the, the sustainable model, at least. Right. Because, yeah, right, right now it's still like the learning. It takes things. everybody. It takes the technology. And it's also going to take the developers to mm-hmm. come around to it because. It's going to be like licensing. It's going to be Netflixing your games because Stadia has already proven that, hey, would you like to buy buy this game at full price and not be able to download it or play it mm-hmm. offline? To which everyone Especially went, on a Google no. product? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> but, but you, we both know you're going to kill it, Google. Like, shut up. 
I mean, I mean, Amazon is just going to leave it to rot on the vine. So you know. <laughs> who knows? Who knows if Amazon's prepared to play the long game, they could have something there, but you know, it's, it's open for prime members. I think maybe they should have done it right and said, Hey, if you're an Amazon prime member, if you want to go to this page, we'll send you a controller and uh, you get a free month. And if you want to keep that up, well, it's Amazon. We'll tack it onto your subscription and it's up to you to remember mm-hmm. to cancel. Um, yeah. If they did that, that would be very interesting. That would be compelling enough for me to go, all right, I'll, I'll play around with it. But, you know, putting the, I'm, I'm already giving you 120 something, $24 a month. Not a month, jeez. Uh, a year. A year. But that's it. I mean, unless you want to give me something, I'm not giving you more money to test things. That's not how it works. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's very much the value add. It's like if, if you look at Audible too, where like, yeah, you get some stuff with Amazon Prime, but you still got to pay for it yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, 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 don't, I don't know. We'll we'll have to see what uh, what actually develops from this. Indeed. We'll definitely keep an eye on it. But uh, one last. Maybe bit. you could stream about it. On, oh, on man. YouTube. This is I'm or Twitter. Tra- I, I'm what? <laughs> yeah, stream stream on Twitter. No, you can do it. It's not what? allowed. <laughs> I've tried you multiple mean, times, Jordan. Really? I'm clearly Sometimes. not the person to show you how to stream on Twitter. I've tried, man. It doesn't okay. work. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe someone will eventually. Maybe they can make a video with this tutorial. Yes. So check this out. I get a question a lot, but it's OBS, not just a question. I get a bunch of questions. So I'm going to be doing a whole new series from my favorite Linux loving miscreants that are out there. It's going to be called OBS Linux Basics, and I'm kicking things off. And it's me. I'm not going to be doing any goofy ass YouTuber nonsense, no rambling, just the facts in and out, probably in like five to six minutes. And I'm starting off as this thing with USB HDMI capture cards and webcams. That sounds like a strange place to start for a beginning, but I got to go with my data set. My data set, this is the most commonly asked question. Have I hooked up my HDMI encoder USB dongle or I've hooked up my webcam? How the fuck do I get sound through this thing? It's not working. I'm from Windows. I don't know about Pulse Audio and Pulse Audio Syncs. Why do I have to add that in conjunction? What do I do now? Oh, I should group them? Yes, you should. I go over all of that in this first video that will get you up and running with your capture card. And yes, that capture card that you put in the drawer because you couldn't figure out how to get audio through it or into your PC for your dual PC streaming setup or your gaming console that you were trying to capture. This will get you sorted. Same goes for your webcam audio. Give it a look. Also, this is really important. Now I have a couple of um, like main topics that I can go from that either I get or I constantly see it in OBS Discord. Same question. As, 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 as. That's my little data set that I'm going to be rolling out initially. I'd love your questions. Like, hey, there needs to be a video. That's on the this. No. Yeah. No. Negative. You leave yeah. that question comment on the YouTube video. Or Patreon. No. YouTube no. video. <laughs> YouTube video. Don't don't want people paying you for that. Yeah. No, I stream, don't. Stream, stream. Stream, stream your question to Twitter and send the link to them. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I look forward to your next video. Yeah. You know the one on the uh, dual, what's that, dual stream setup? It was an article, but sure. Yeah. Docker run. No, no we're not doing it with Docker. <laughs> Well, then you're not using my tutorial. Coming up next, we're throwing chairs at children's card games that are not for children. Yeah, they are. Welcome back to the Chairquisition. This week, we're taking a look at Griftlands from Klee Ender Clay. Clay, how do you pronounce it? Klee? Klee. 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 The Claw. (laughs) The Claw Entertainment. Um, Done on a custom engine using BGFX, C++, and Lua. You can pick it up for about 20 bucks. What is it? Griftlands is a deck building roguelite where you negotiate, fight, steal, or otherwise persuade others to get your way. Each decision is important, be it the jobs you take, the friends you make, or the cards you collect. Got to thank uh, Clay Entertainment for sending us some keys so we can take a look at it. Um, And Ven will be very, very quick with his panning of it. I am. I am. This is what I do because it's a card game. Check it out. Uh, It gets a clean bill of health on Debian 11. I mean, everything works. Uh, Windowed full screen and sounds make sound. Video makes a video. No complaints. But, you know, as Jordan was alluding to ever so gently, roguelite, turn-based, deck building, dialogue heavy, without voice acting. Get ready. Oh, well, all right. I, am I wrong with this when, it, when we say voice acting? Because it makes noises, but that's not going to help it's, anybody. It, it's simlish. 
Okay. Yeah. You just got to read all the fucking dialogue, <laughs> period. No way around it. Uh, pay attention, kids. You know, I played the story. I played it on story difficulty. So, hey, if I don't like the mechanics, I might actually dig the story. Um, what I took from it, I look forward to the rebuttal, is you're a bounty hunter. You're doing bounties. And that's what I get out of it. My 60 minutes of playtime. Now, I will say on the story mode, even for me, it, it's like set at minus seven difficulty because I randomly bullshit click my way through every single fight. Always with the same outcome. I wrecked everyone. So good job on that. Um, I got a space puppy at one point, so it's got that going forward. But, you know, you already know I don't dig these games, so that's why I want to pop up first. I only play them to see if this is going to be the game that hooks me into it, you know, because that's happened before. It's happened to all of us with different genres and different types of games. There's always going to be that one game like, oh, I get it. I can play this. This is good. And rabbit hole, you go. But I prefer... You know, this one, this one just didn't hook me. Uh, it didn't. So there's the end of that. I like more cerebral games like Cookie Clicker. You know, I'm an intellectual. So uh, fortunately for you two, you, these two yahoos, man, uh, they eat this shit up. So sit back and prepare to get educated. But I will say, for me, I mean, on a technical aspect, there is nothing wrong with this game. It looks good. Sounds decent. It's just not my jam. All right, so on Fedora 34, 64-bit with the R9-3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti, it launches in that tiny window at first because it does the full-screen uh, borderless. Do not move that window. Leave it alone. It. Yeah, Mr. don't touch it. I gotta it. move the window and, oh, shit. Oh, dear Lord. Yeah, yeah, now, now <laughs> you're just, like, halfway off, and you can't even hit the apply button to reset that shit, so you just gotta get out of the game. Yeah, um, it holds 60 at UHD, but, I mean, like, it's all hand-drawn graphics. This is a flipbook. It's not graphically demanding. Uh, speaking of, the production design here is amazing. All the character design is really good. I like the alien designs, the creature designs, all the all the characters' outfits look cool. It's just very well done, like very well thought out. They built themselves a nice little world to inhabit, and it looks amazing. Uh, the dialogue, as I mentioned before, is complete simlish, which I guess saves on localization because now all you got to do is translate the text. Control S, click and drag. So, for the fun, um, yes, uh, hello, my name is Jordan, and I'm a recovering Magic the Gathering player. Uh, I really, really, really like deck building games, and I really should play more of them, because I do have fun with them. I've left Slay the Spire on the table for so long, sometimes I forget it's there, it's like, I need something to play, why don't I pick up Slay the Spire? Nah, nah, I don't feel like losing 20 hours of my life, but I probably should. Oh, also, you know, with vaccinations, maybe I can play Dominion in person with some friends. Ah, and some in the future. Anyways. Grifflands, pretty solid as far as the card mechanics go, but the uh, social conflict and the battle systems use pretty much the same rules. It's just presented slightly differently and the terminology is a little different. Sometimes like, wait, what is this thing supposed to be? Oh, right. Yeah, this is my defense, but it's like a different word now. And I just as an aside, I am so happy they implemented a dual wit system. Uh, Burning Wheel is, is, calls it a dual wit system, but it's, it's social combat, right? Like, I wish more games would gamify social interaction so that it's more than just like click an option out of a list of like five things, maybe beat a target number on the dice roll. I don't know. And I really like how the systems feed into each other, too, because sometimes you can use combat to set up negotiations. Sometimes you can use negotiations to, like, weaken people you're going to fight. It all feels very thought out. Um, the story is okay so far. Uh, they do that style of world building that I think Pillars of Eternity really popularized, where they just throw a bunch of proper nouns at you, but everything has a little tooltip to tell you what the fuck everything is. I don't really like that style of world building because... It, they're, they're, I feel there are better ways of conveying it, but it is definitely a good way to get your... Um, or it's, it's a prudent way of getting your world across... Um, the gameplay is what really holds it up though. It's, it's super well done. The, the card mechanics are very, very good. They're very crunchy. Uh, there's a constant, like having to maintain your deck, uh, with like a, enough good cards that you can do stuff repeatedly. Uh, they give you a bunch of different characters that have different play styles, which is really cool. I'm a fan of the, um, of the second guy you unlock where it's all based on like the coin flip. And you got to, like, build your deck so that you're either based on, like, the good side of the coin or the bad side of the coin or, like, riding it. There's a, there's a lot of, like, fun mechanical interactions. And it's it makes for, like, a super rewarding card game experience. I I really enjoyed the game. I'm going to give it four cheers. I recommend if you like roguelikes or RPGs, definitely give it a look. Hang on. I got to do, like, three plus one. One. There. <laughs> there. Sure. <laughs> 
But yes, uh, I absolutely agree with Jordan and over here on the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080. Launch it that, uh, launch that out of the box. Holds 144 at 2560 by 1440. It very much has the Shank style of artwork and it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, the the voice acting, it, it's truly amazing gibberish, uh, but it, it is there, if you want to call it that. And yeah, it, it controls exactly like you'd expect a card game to do. You just click and drag the card to the target that you want to the thing to affect and away you go. Or if it's like a general card, you just drag it to the play area and there you go. Is it fun? Yes. Yes, it is fun. Uh, the best comparison I can give you, and Jordan already hinted at, was uh, Slay the Spire, but with a, with a story or a plot. Uh, actually, it's three plots. Uh, Jordan mentioned the second character. There's actually three characters, main characters that you can play with. And yes, they all play very, very differently. Very similar to how uh, Slade Aspire does it. So yeah, no, it is clearly Clay was looking at Slade Aspire and said, we can improve on that. We can build on that and make a thing and a thing they made. Uh, if you want, you can delve into the nitty gritty and build a deck entirely to exploit the status effects that you inflict either in conversation or in combat. It, it, it is the kind of game that's exactly up my alley and considering how much I liked Slate Aspire, Griftlands is those mechanics applied to both the combat and the conversation. So everything is about the decks that you build. It's, it's amazingly like well they, done. I like that they give you two decks. So if you really want, you can play like yes. two completely different styles. Absolutely. And the game actually encourages you to because you can have as many cards as you want or you can have a deck that is only the cards that you want to play and you're always drawing the same hand and playing the same cards. I love that. I, the amount of flexibility that you have in what is effectively a card game is amazing. Very good job, Clay. And it, it is pricey. You know, $20. Yeah. Might not be, uh, you know, the, the an enticing price for everyone, but much like, I, I guess Mark of the Ninja was also $20, but I'd rather pay the uh, $20 for Griftlands than Mark of the Ninja, so four chairs I mean, for me. The, yeah, the, produ the production <laughs> quality is definitely there. I don't I don't feel bad about, like, paying, recommending people pay $20 for it, because, no, like... I'm going to say it, flat it, out, it, not even getting the game with the production, but, um, they could have priced this at... 39 and i wouldn't like if this was my jam like i'm just saying on a technical aspect how well this was done production -wise, oh absolutely yeah yeah ab ab absolutely now, uh i want to address well, uh, i want both of you to address some complaints for me because of course after i wrote my little thing and what are people saying about this i seen like the common complaint for this game was that it was just a little too easy Yes, definitely. Definitely, if you if you if you have an eye for the mechanisms, very early on, you can just like adopt a strategy that will not make things hard. Sometimes, sometimes you just like have bad hands, and like there's still the luck mm -hmm. skill. Uh, there's still the luck skill ratio here. Uh, it's I think it skews a little more towards skill than luck, mm -hmm. which um, uh, could be a minus for a roguelike because you know you, you kind of want to. You want you want to thread that needle of like really exciting emergent gameplay and you know not feeling like you're completely powerless. So now another question yeah. I want to ask: Does this do anything new? Um, I would I would say the most innovative thing here is the social conflict system. Uh, very yes. few game. I, 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 it's not new by any sense of the imagination, but it's very prevalent and you don't see a lot of games implement stuff like this. So that's which, what I'm running into when somebody likes or dislikes me, which is going to have consequences, which I saw one of the immediate ones was my shop prices went up like 30%. Yep. Yeah. There, there, it, there's other the stuff The more they too, dislike like you, you can, the more your prices go up. And the conversations, yeah. depending on the outcome, if you manage to do a quest via conversation only towards the authority figures, for example, they'll really like you. And then you get a lot of bonuses and yeah. that carries through the, the whole run. <laughs> yeah. There, there's, there's a whole big like social web interaction thing with that, which I thought was really yeah. cool. Um, lo a lot of games don't really delve into that style of the gameplay. And I feel like it's a missed opportunity for a lot of RPGs. I like uh, to see so. that. Like that. I think they did a fantastic job on it. And, um, mm -hmm. I'm glad both of you enjoyed it because yeah, I, I yeah, it, yeah. It, it's very well done. 
It is. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, you, you got any, one last nope. thing you want to add, Pedro? No, no, too no, bad. No. Too late. Coming up next, <laughs> we're 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 playing some Duke Nukem 3D. Could you at least man. pretend like you do, Pedro, so we can get some satisfaction? We won't be like. Oh, we'll <laughs> oh no! Actually, I forgot about this. No, never mind. Oh. <laughs> uh, th- that, that's that's when you hit the stop record button. Oh, actually, I. <laughs> It's over. Beep, beep, Wouldn't beep, you know beep, it? Beep, beep, boop, real quick, because I'm a retro rock <laughs> you theme. You made it. No, no, no. No more uh, rock theme, apparently. That got nerfed just now. <laughs> what, 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 please, uh, please nerf. Rock what, theme 2 OP. What's like, nerf. what's like OG retro? Is like lava? Retro rock? Primordial soup. Goo? <laughs> yeah. Some, some, <laughs> some, some, some kind of nebula? Pre, pre-stellar mass Listen, before man, rocks we're, form? We're three more trying to do science jokes. Deal with it. I don't know if Evangelion taught me anything. Is it uh, primordial soup is just a human dissolved in LCL? So there you go. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you get in the robot, Pedro? <laughs> <laughs> just get in the goddamn robot. No, no, no. If you would like to tell us to get in the goddamn robot, you can go to linuxgamecast.com. You hit the contact button. There's a little form you got to fill. LGC Weekly is the show you want to send it to. And there's some caveats that you might want to read at the top of the page. Mm, I'm a you know? robot. Can't read. Well, if you're a robot, Pe- then Pedro, you probably you need to get picked inside up. Ben. Bitch, I didn't say I was a good robot. <laughs> get inside Ben, Pedro. Get in my belly. That is way too sexy, and you can't have that on Twitch. So- <laughs> robot can't read. Beep boop. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, if you're I, a robot, I mean, chances like are you probably catches. saw the email address that was above the, the thing. Email so address. Just- Where the fuck is emailing out these days? Last time I saw him was in here. I don't know. <laughs> He's kind of. What like about a, Emule? Emule? Ooh. Oh, Grandpa. No one knows what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Bear share. Mike B hits us up real quick. I dropped this video earlier this week. Uh, if you've skipped over that, like a smart person. And the uh, new segment talking about doing the OBS basics. You know, get, get the kids streaming on Linux. And. It's like, hey, I'm looking forward to more content like this. I know you spent years to refine your streaming setup. Spreading that knowledge out a bit should save the rest of us some grief. There's two I'm ways to take grief. that. Yes. <laughs> the thing is, I, that, I, I, that path I genuinely does hope. lead to more grief and more stuff to... <laughs> it, it's the dark side, right? It just leads to anger, fear, and suffering. I know. And, but you get to shoot lightning, so that's is, good. I, I'm dead serious about people like hitting me. You, you got to get over that ego shit, man. Of, um, that that Windows ego of like, I, I can do that. I can next click my way through anything. I have decades of experience clicking that next button. What do you, oh, Linux is broken. It didn't do the thing. You got to be able to fight through that and ask the questions. And turns out I probably ran into the problems and I look forward to helping everybody just get quick, concise documentation I've had to do this with OBS. And that's that's kind of my goal. Like, I'm sure Pedro has questions, but he'd be damned if he would ask me. I've asked you many times. <laughs> Not once has he ever asked. <laughs> I mean, the OBS stuff, I could usually figure it out because, you know, I See, know Pedro, Pedro Mateus, that's the Windows talking. You gotta, you gotta fight through it. <laughs> it's the haiku talking. Be gone, Gates. Come on, we'll, 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 we'll do it. But, but then he doesn't have five G anymore. I wonder how's listen. he gonna connect to Twitter and Jordan I upload his duck face selfies. I, I had my heart set on doing an, a balmerism. Okay, a, so a I haven't had my a vaccine yet, so I don't have the nano machines. Uh, I'm not five G enabled yet. Don't worry, I got some tape. <laughs> I, got, I got, I got some tape and some bleach. It'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks for the feedback, Mike. I, I look forward to um, doing these series because, uh, hey, some people just get me our store TFM, and I'll do that for you. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, a long, long Bioshock. time ago, billions of years ago in the future's past, uh, I, I found this weird mod for Sirius Sam. It was mm-hmm. Duke Nukem 3D. I'm like, what the fuck's going on there? Who wants to take this? I will. Why not? 
Uh, this is from Bioshock 69. They say, these are the type of games that needs to come back and be remastered from the ground up. And with ray tracing, instead of all of these third person games, we keep on getting, yes, they look nice, but they're are all the same looting and fetch quest and we still haven't got a real proper remaster iconic classic doom remaster just mods for them <gasps> i remember playing <laughs> the duke nukem um games and half-life doom heretic one i would not like to them all to come back with more modern graphics of today with all the ray tracing but with keeping the same style controls and gameplay not like what devs doom with their new retake of doom the 2016 <laughs> deep breath let's be honest it's okay. pretty tight <laughs> you still put more pauses there than there existed but yes hey, <laughs> i needed to breathe at some point pedro my no, lungs aren't back overrated right. overrated yeah it's basically like the first couple of levels you can see the differences between like the original build engine and what they've worked out and it was very impressive even back in the day it's completely a uh, free mod that you can mm. go play around with yourself i um, it's got a bunch of awards it's on steam What's so serious about Dirk 3D? And it takes 1.3 gigabytes of space and no support for VR. But what's this? Coop? Is there anything we can do? It's likely that you'll run into issues. <laughs> Probably. Uh, we might try it. It might be mothering hilarious. Where are we at with, um, uh, like, <laughs> has there been any, um, like, remasters? I was going to ask that for, for, the for Black Mesa multiplayer. Have they finished the rest of the campaign of that? <laughs> We still got to go through that, man. Jeez. I, Meet the Freemans 3, uh, the Freemaning. Well, uh, I, I may have forgot the name of it. I'm trying to black it out. We, we got to the cutoff point. So, yes, that's something we need to go back and cheat. Uh, ray trace first person shooters and like enhanced. Uh, they did that. The problem is, I think the biggest problem with anything ray tracing A is you, you're not going to really have a good time doing it at. 1080p even on a 2080 that's not gonna be that great i'm interested i'm interested to see like what they like uh what it, it wasn't it wasn't blumenkrantz it was the other guy who was getting it running on um the older uh the navi navi one and older rdna carts getting like the hardware ray tracing support in i, I think so that's a good like technical exercise but i don't think there's any practicality in that whatsoever i, I mean like yeah they, they didn't say anything about the performance but I'm, like i said i'm curious to see like just in terms of some older games, what they can do when you don't necessarily need the the hard tensor wiggles, but like I, I don't know that that's to me that seems more the domain of like fan remakes. I kind of wish they would make new things instead of just constantly well, remastering old things. But my first thought when you when you say that, I'm like, well, Bethesda now has the uh, id stuff, and they they've been known to remake things for fuckle reasons. I, I look forward to the latest release of Skyrim being implemented as a playable minigame in the new Doom. Yes. Because <laughs> that's, that's where we're going. <laughs> the, the, the Doom guy. Oh, man, that universe is going to get... Good luck with it. And Jordan, the person you were thinking about was a Joshi, the D9 right. VK person. Yes. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, on that, uh, retro nostalgia, ray, ray trace nostalgia, man. I, I don't know. Punctuation, Bioshock sixty nine. Negative. Punctuation. Never, <laughs> never, never, never. We get it. We get it. Come, come, come. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, if you want to come hang out in this rock block, uh, it kicks off at eight thirty Eastern Standard Time. Just head over to our Twitch dot com forward slash Linux Gamecast. That's where our schedule is. You can see us. We're knocking out all kind of nonsense each and every week on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays. Not Sundays. That's the Flying Spaghetti Monsters Day. We gotta take that off. But if you're a patron, come on uh, Discord an hour earlier. That's where we do our production meeting. It's kind of terrifying. If you want to get in touch with me, I'm just at Finstone on Twitter. That's where I'm hanging out. Uh, send me a message. And I'll probably click the heart button. I remember when it used to be a star. Or just at Vin on mass.linuxgamecast.com Dot com and even though I put it on our library thing, um, we don't monitor that. So you, you're generally screw if you want to like talk shit to us and feel that you've left your mark, leave a comment on that, and we'll never see it. So we'll both win. Mm -hmm. I'm Jordan Swung. I still don't have any hardware accelerated ray tracing. But one day, maybe Joshy can give it to me on my brain meets. Yeah. You can find me on Twitter at the Burning Fool or. Uh, on Twitch at twitch.tv slash burning fool. I'm going to try and do some, if I can't get a D&D &D group together, I'm going to do some like solo Iron Sworn stuff. So if you want to see me have some lonely fun, check that out. I think I'll do that Monday. 
And if you would like to hurt my feelings, uh, good luck. A lot of people have been trying, and it still hasn't worked, so maybe you'll be the one to do it. At unaccounted for on Twitter. F-O-U-R. Just, yeah. <laughs> just, just make him play on a server without that, ping. He starts crying. That's my secret, Tony. My feelings are always hurt. <laughs> Look at him. He's starting to get angry right now. <laughs> oh, you can see the steam coming out of his ears. I was just gonna say that doesn't make me angry. It just annoys the shit out of me. <laughs> well, uh, we, we gotta thank our lovely Anything advisors. that accomplishes your resting uh, bitch face. Omega, I see an Arthur, and, uh, we got our executive producers: Aldius, Barbram, Scott Michaud, Mike, Mr. Fox Dog, Atomic Ass, my G, Empty Drummer, Holy Toast. Chicago kicks ass. We got more little Nikki fans. Abstraction and Darkwing and the Sea Monsters. Jack, Jack B. B. Renault. Renault, Rider X Machina, Trudgy for angry. Tenuta, he couldn't Justin, see through the rage. Ross Clark, yes. Kylinix, and the Death Notes, Nova K, Basil, uh, or Basil, sorry, uh, oh, Chad, no. Romeo, Marson, System T, Craig, Renee, Leonardo, DeCresny, Smashly G, Jason, Chris, Stephen Jill, Benjamin, Duke, Duda, Wood, Stephen, Stephen, Mr. Amish, Reginald, Dor Dor, we got Lennox New, Viscat, how oh, no, else, Rulio, Thomas T, I haven't got Thomas T in a while. Evanandro, Igal, Zimandro, the incredible lyric. Minus nine. Yes, Mar I'm Monica. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. And uh, do something horrendously irresponsible that will also hurt Pedro's fifis. That was more Good scary. Luck. Five dudes. <laughs>